Hey everybody, we are at the Black Hills Vista RV Park in Sturgis, uh, South Dakota. If you don't know us, we travel around the country. We spend about two weeks uh, everywhere we stop. We work full time um, during the week to do kind of like local things while we're there. Um, and then we normally have like two weekends to kind of just explore. When we leave campgrounds, we like to post little videos, um, kind of helpful videos most of the time of our experiences in the area and the campground. Um, so. Um, if you don't know where Sturgis is, first off, I'll throw that up on a map. Um, obviously, it's well known for uh, motorcycles and the motorcycle rally. And we came here because it was so well known. Um, we just kind of wanted to check it out. Um, so anyway, behind me is the campground and I will just kind of pan around and you can see it. Um, the campground itself is a very no frills um, campground. Um, but with, the, um, with it being no frills, the cost to stay here for us was around $300. That's fairly reasonably cheap. Um, cheap, 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 very cheap. Um, and yeah, that's basically, th there's another section of the campground that look, looks almost exactly the same as what you saw. Um, so um, what you kind of get is, this is what a site looks like. Um, it's about 100 feet long, which is amazingly long. Um, it's super, super wide. Um, I didn't paste it off. It looks about like 30 feet wide. Um, like seriously, like our camper is right here and you can see the next site is like way 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 super like over here like where that that that, that stake because i mean you could put two fifth wheels side by side and maybe two travel trailers in back i mean these sites are ridiculously big um if you look behind me you're going to see like class a with a enormous uh triaxle trailer behind it and they are in their site they're not with no problems at all with um with space um, it is very windy, so hopefully there's not a lot of wind noise um, on, that's coming through um, on the video. The campground itself is on this vista, meaning it is kind of like on this flat, it's very, very flat here, um, hill. And behind me, if you look down, there is a enormous hill and another campground. <laughs> yeah, um, lots and lots of campgrounds. Um, Sturgis is like roughly over there where that big repeater tower is. That's uh, 300 feet, 400 feet from me. So obviously the signal strength, if you have like Verizon or AT&T or T-Mobile or whatever you have, is gonna be really, really incredibly strong because there's a repeater right in the middle of campground. Um, so if you wanna work here like we did, yeah, great service. Um, sometimes it can be hit or miss, especially in valleys like when you go to campgrounds. Not here. We're at the very top of a mountain and we have line of sight to the repeater, so that's super, super cool. Um, because this is like, you know, no frills, they have like well, kind of what you expect. You know, you know, they have water, they have sewer, they have electric, um, 30, 50 amp. Um, the campground office is this little building over here. It's basically, I think they sell soda pop in there maybe, and a couple t-shirts, and it's where you check in. Very, very basic. And then over here, there's a restroom um, with showers and everything, so they do have that. And that is basically your tour of the entire campground. There is a dog park um, over in the other section. Maybe I'll like throw up some um, little footage of that area. There is a few things to point out. Um, very, very super important. First off, the road to get up here is this little like tiny private road. And if you use Google Maps, it probably will give you the wrong um, instructions and it will tell you to drive through this campground behind me up some little mountain road to somebody's house that um, has like no trespassing signs and fences and gates and stuff um, and even over here you're gonna see there's like little roads that kind of come up here also that are service roads um, so, so the utility people can get up to the um, repeater without having to drive to the campground I guess um, that has gates and stuff um, use the address for the campground to get here I will like throw a couple images up on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about where Google gets confused um, on our Garmin, we use a Garmin RV uh, GPS thing. Um, it knew how to get here every single time perfectly because it um, was taking us the safest route, not the quickest route, um, which is what um, a nice thing about like the Garmin um, RV trucker type of um, GPSs are. They're much more conservative on their route planning. They aren't trying to just um, shortcut you somewhere. Um, that's ridiculous. Now you're gonna ask me maybe about these little poles. You're gonna see all these like little poles in the ground everywhere that um, like show you where the spots are. The poles actually pull right out of the ground and I'll like get down here so you can see. Yeah, they pull out of the ground. Ah, see, they pull out of the ground. So, you know, when you come in or whatever, if you're worried and you think that you're gonna cut it a little too short or when you pull out, you know, like you might be like, why is Nathan not complaining about like having to pull out with a pole right there? Um, it's because a pole's removable. I can just remove the pole and I can just make the turn as tight or as short as I want, no 
no problems. I would have been really, really upset if these poles were like trees and they're fixed objects and I was having to try to figure out how to um, squeeze out in this tight little area, but uh, that's that's not the case. They're really, really, really smart on the little markings that they put, put up. Um, now Sturgis. We went down to Sturgis. Sturgis is a little motorcycle area, motorcycle town. Um, really cool bars, really big bars, and uh, um, they have like the largest motorcycle bar there um, in the United States, which is really, uh, maybe even in the world, um, really, really cool. There's a motorcycle museum that we went down to. Um, yeah, side-by-sides are illegal on the road out here. Um, I think they have to have a license plate or something, maybe it'd be street legal. Um, but anyway, side-by-sides are um, legal out here, so you see quite a few of them out on the road as well as, well as um, motorcycles. Um, so that's a, a really, really cool um, atmosphere and thing to do to go check out Sturgis. The other thing that is really, really in close proximity to this area is Deadwood. And uh, Deadwood is a, like a HBO TV series. I think they made a movie too. And uh, to kind of tell you a little bit about my understanding of Deadwood, it may not be accurate, but it's kind of what I figured out, is Deadwood was an area that was next to the United States that I don't think was formally part of the United States and these people live there and it was like Western stuff and pretty crazy um, stuff going on because there wasn't really any real regulation and they're really concerned about becoming a territory and then statehood and everything. So it's super, super, um, super drama, wild west, um, anything goes and that town is right, right, right over there. It's like 20 minutes away. Um, it's also the start of the Mickelson Trail. Um, while Bill Hitch Hickok, I think that's what his name was, was killed there. So that's like one of the, um, the big kind of um, historic notes. Um, it's an old town and they love their history and they have lots of like kind of like walk through um, museums and stuff. Um, we went through um, a whorehouse actually, <laughs> that might sound kind of weird, but we went through one that was there. Um, it was closed down, had been closed down in the 80s. And apparently they had four of them um, there at one time that was just common knowledge um, all the way until 1980. <laughs> so that's how much they were able to like get away with um, stuff that normally is not like really permitted in most cities. Um, really, really kind of interesting history. So if you're in the area, I would say go check out Deadwood also while you're up here because you're gonna kind of um, miss out if you don't do Stur at least Sturgis and Deadwood. Um, and they're like, like 20 minutes apart. The nearest large city is Rapid City. Um, just like I said in the last video when we were um, at Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore, if you're interested in that is, um, I wanna say it's about an hour-ish, hour and a half away from here. Um, so it's a little bit of a drive, but you could drive down to Mount Rushmore from here if you really wanted to, to check it out. Um, or you could go camp over near Mount Rushmore. We have made a video um, of us out there doing all the Mount Rushmore stuff as well um, as all the um, camping and stuff that we did out at Mount Rushmore.